From your hyper-local weather source, this is your Norcast Weather Update. Brought to you by Storybook Land and EHD. Enter a world of wonder and whimsy and create everlasting memories for your family. Over 15 rides and dozens of themed attractions. For tickets, hours, and more info, visit storybookland.com. Well, as we are heading off to bed tonight, temperatures have made it into the upper 40s. 47 in Mays Landing and Hamilton. 49 in Glassboro, 48 in Vineland, 52 Fortescue, 48 Courthouse, 50 in Atlantic City, and 51 up in Marlton. But I'm sure you've heard we had that G5 solar storm. I think it's down to a G4 now, but most of us weren't able to see the Aurora Borealis last night due to the cloud cover. But be sure that you do get outside and try to take a look at it tonight because we are still going to see the northern lights and we are going to have partly to mostly clear skies tonight. Temperatures will be a little bit on the chilly side, so be sure that you do have your jacket, but take advantage of this opportunity to check out the Northern Lights if you were not able to view them the past couple of nights. Before tomorrow, we are going to see lots of sunshine. Temperatures also a lot warmer, making it into the lower 70s before some showers and some more thunderstorms do start to work in heading into your Tuesday. I believe it will mainly be some prefrontal showers on your Tuesday, but with the heat, we could see a few isolated thunderstorms embedded with those showers, but the system will start to move in by Wednesday, and I believe temperatures will start to cool down slightly, so I believe we will just mainly see rain showers throughout the day on Wednesday, but rain chances go all the way up to 80% as that system does start to move in, but by your Thursday, I believe we will see plenty of sunshine and the heat and humidity will start to return, so by your Friday and next Saturday, we could see some afternoon heating, showers, and thunderstorms, but that's just about it. That's typically what we expect here in the summertime, and that will continue over the next couple of months, but temperatures should stay in the 70s all throughout the work week and even into next weekend. So I hope you have a great week, and I hope all you mothers out there had a great Mother's Day. I will be back Friday, as Nick and Brittany will both be at a wedding, but I'll see you then. Have a great work week, everyone.